What's going on everyone? This is Flamesword Captain the Status Quo and I'm finally back home for the summer. Uh, our YouTube page has not been putting out a lot of content recently because like my last vlog said, I was out in Chicago for five weeks for vacation, now I'm finally back home. Um, today I got a 2v2 gameplay for you guys from Game Battles. It consists of me and Royal 2 versus these two unknown players who we figured out later on were two players on fake accounts. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Electric and I forget the other guy's name. But it was a good series. It went all the way to game three. This is the last game. It goes down to a 25-24 score since game battles is up to 25. And uh, basically, I'm going to go down through everything, you know, what I was thinking in the game, situations, and what you guys should be really looking to do when you're playing 2v2s. Uh, look out for more content also after this video to come out more with call-outs, strategies, vlogs. From all players from status quo, you're going to have our coach coming out with content and everyone else from our team. So let's hop in right into the gameplay, right guys? It's going to be an interesting one. Uh, it was a nail biter. My heart was bump uh, beating at the end. So guys, you're going to want to keep your eyes peeled to the screen. And here we go. Sell it Slayer, by the way, just in case you guys didn't know. So opening strat is Royal 2 goes bridge, and I pretty basically just put shots and then get ready to either go for snipe or grenade launcher. Royal 2 got more damage. I could see through the bridge as I throw nades where the other player was. So I know one player is around their health pack and one player street side. I go for tube, and if the player was there, he could have cleaned me up, but he didn't. So I come back, and I'm basically staying on this side because I know that if the player checks if the tube was gone, he's going to be coming main ramp because... If the tube's gone, he knows the nade hit the guy, so he might try to finish me. Royal 2 gave me a call out. I go for the call out and I kill him. Now I know Royal 2's pushing up towards snipe, and I'm basically just pinned. Also, here's that that was a good spot. I want you guys to all really look. You're gonna see me do it throughout throughout the game. When you're weak, and especially in 2v2, since you know I just killed one player, so I know there's only one player alive now. You really want to be able to take advantage of certain positions. So from here, I could see blue two. But if anyone was around Blue 2, because that's where I just got shot from, you could take cover and you could either dip down and double back out and fake out and go towards main ramp, or you could stick to ring 1 and then go up a port. Since I know Royal 2 is at gold, I could choose either one, but let's continue and see what I do. I, so I stick to ring 2 like right there. I saw him. I put shots into him. I know Royal 2 is top gold, so I'm going to try to help finish this guy off before we uh, signal out the other guy. So basically in 2v2s, you always want to Double team one guy. If you see one guy's going on his own, you want to collapse him with your teammate. Royal 2 gets picked off. The guy we just killed blue landing spawns there. So now I'm just trying to hold down red until he spawns. I shoot a good tube to get both of them actually weak. Royal 2 finishes them off, and then the other guy gets a sweet nade. So here I'm just trying to get landing control. Uh, usually in 2v2s, you want to hold top mid and landing. Uh, players like me and Royal 2, I like to really move around a lot and just do run and gun action and usually let him just set up on top goal with snipe and like right here instead I'm holding the landing and because of it I'm getting call outs for him and be able to support and make sure to keep him alive the guy spawns red landing again I know of this I also know there's a guy around bottom main ramp so I'm in a trouble spot royal 2 spawns in a good spot to finish my one sh the guy he was fighting before my one shot guy still up there so now we're trying to collapse on him I get shot just like right here, you can see I get shot from all the way from blue too, so I know, alright, we gotta make sure we finish this kill. We move up and kill him. Now, we have a snipe, we're the power players. Uh, basically, now we're just going to a setup. Uh, he's red landing, and I'm red bridge. So I'm basically, I could watch anything from main ramp to red, and he also has a sniper to be able to watch my back. So basically, I'm just gonna be here the entire time until I see an enemy, or get a good call out from Royal 2 to get out of there, and uh, basically switch up and collapse on another player so we're basically just waiting to spot an enemy so we can both collapse on him this comes out to like a mexican standoff or just waiting and waiting i feel like i saw someone or i knew someone was there royal two spotted him able to get him one shot i can't collapse here because he throws a nade great nade but royal two starts moving in and here again here i use the spot guys if you see see i use that little divider so i could use cover if someone does start shooting at me Royal 2, the amazing sniper, peels a kid's head off. So now I try to move in for the other guy since I know there's only one alive. Took too long, so I know the other guy spawned. I don't know where he spawned, so I'm trying to be cautious. Royal 2's doing work, and I'm, like I said before, you want to be landings and top mid in a 2v2, basically. 
the town mid guy is just there to distract like I'm doing unfortunately we let a guy get across uh, from blue 2 to blue landing without seeing partially my fault for not checking blue 2 and uh, ends up doing good for him right here I most likely should not have stood here and spawned royal 2 blue 1 but that's what it is uh, I thought maybe he would spawn blue 1 again so I didn't want to move just in case and he unfortunately he didn't so now he moves around they might think someone's around blue but I try to start sneaking and I wait for royal 2 to make the move once he makes the move of where the guys are I start collapsing on them so from 2v2s guys what you really want to be doing is collapsing on all sorts of players and my nade kills him and I know the other guy is either going to go red one or right there he went red uh, red lights and I finished him off again going back to top mid top mid you basically can stop everything you can see everything uh, if people spawn underneath the base, you could see where they space, and you could shoot them as they're trying to go jump up, or you could contain them to stay underneath the base. Unfortunate for us, we all know 2v2 zealot spawns, and 1v1 zealot spawns aren't the best. You could kill someone at another base, and their teammates are still there, and for some reason they'll spawn them completely at the other base, just like that, and kill me. But here we go, back to the game plan, you know. I want to stay top mid or gold side landings with our teammate, and that's exactly what we do. Uh, we got the lead here, so now it's really for them. They have to come to us to beat us, and we know this as experienced players that when uh, we're landings, we have a good bait and switch, so that's exactly what we're trying to do. I, uh, I'm i more of a gutsy player. I like to do a lot of individual plays. If, uh, if the other player chokes on doing something like that, like missing the nade on me right there, I like to penalize them for it, and that's exactly what I did by popping out right away. He wasn't expecting because he thought the nade hit me. Now right here I'm getting pushed from blue landing and blue 2. This is a tough spot. I uh, most likely should have ran maybe back red landing and trusted Royal 2 to snipe. But uh, we're able to get a 1-on-1 -on -one trade right there. And since we have the lead, that's, you know, it's not a bad trade at the end of the day. Here I'm throwing nades to red 1 because, I mean, like I said before, zealot spawns and 2v2s and 1v1s, they're unpredictable. So you're really not sure, you know, if one guy's just spawning, where's he going to spawn? So I'm throwing nades right there to red one to make sure no one can jump on me as I was one shot. And then I move all the way back up to blue landing as Royal 2 called out a guy from blue 2 going to blue street. The great sniper he is, he's either going to put you to one shot or repeal your head off. Such an amazing teammate to have, especially in 2v2s. So back to the game plan. Just like I said, guys, you're going to keep seeing it. I'm going to keep reinforcing it so you guys know what to do on Zealot 2v2s. You want to control the top mid and the landing. One stick to one side, so you could always collapse on the teammate. See how I don't push the guy blue, because I know the other's going to be the other player, because they're going to try to collapse on me. They play that really well. He didn't try to collapse, but they just contained me in the spot so they could finish me off. Here I call, I give the call out to blue landing, so I'm just going to try to nade him and back him off. Unfortunately, Xbox Live's not the greatest, so you can see shots weren't registering there. I try to make a move here. Uh, Goose plays an amazing play. Uh, that pillar on landings, you guys should really try to use that for wall glitches. It's a, it's a great thing if you can master it. As you just saw, Goose was able to, was down one shot and was able to take advantage of me. Here, for all the players who don't know, um, big thing you want to do on Zella when people are top mid, you really want to bounce your nades uh, if you can see the clear space. Because the clear space, the nades can't go through there. They just come down. If you kind of hit that middle structure right there, uh, if you hit them like certain, if they have certain creeks, so if you kind of hit the certain creeks, your nade might go left, right, and not exactly come straight down. Like my first nade here. As you can see, I try to do a fancy nade, and luckily for me, it hit that pillar, but he wasn't there. And then, like I said, you want to aim for that blue open space, because as soon as those, that's like a straight wall, and boom, the nade comes straight down and comes eating that guy alive. And that's, you know, game battles nades, GB nades. That's just where it came from. Um, a player like me, I like to make nades on the spot. But that nade uh, is a nade that all pros and players do know about. So, if you guys didn't know about that, make sure to add that into your gameplay. Here, I kind of mess up. I, I was kind of screaming since the score is so close to my call. It's like, bro, he's blue one, blue one, as he was shooting a, a guy that we wouldn't be able to finish. And I ended up nading him, which sucked, but... You know, we're able to contain, uh, as veterans, this is what we're built for, close quarter games like this. And uh, here, I get a lucky spawn, like I said again. Sometimes spawns and zealot just they either go your way or they don't go your way.
get that guy to one shot and I try to let Royal 2 finish him. As you know, I just nade a red one right there. The reason I was nading red one was because I don't want him to spawn red one. Like before when we saw the guy spawn red two. I want to make sure he, he doesn't spawn there so I don't die. I come here, collapse on the guy with Royal 2. Me and him start trying to stay alive. I'm circling. Royal 2, I told him to go red landing because I'm, new snipes are going to be coming up. And he was on the halfway there, but then I kind of told him I got the guy weak, so he decided to double back. Again, I got a good spawn. Here comes some swings, kind of miss, but, you know, I clutched it right there, finished it. So now here's here's a close game. You know, we're all adrenaline pumping. This is our first. We're trying to make sure we go undefeated in game battles. We still haven't had a loss, and now we're playing. So it's 22-22. Another guy's blue two. I throw nades to get out of there. Royal 2, hey, you get the red landing, let's try to get control of top mid again. And that's exactly what we start doing. I see a guy blue bridge and blue 2, so I try to use this area because I know only certain nades could hit the bridge. I know he drops. Unfortunately, we get a trade. Doesn't say I kill him, but I do kill him. And uh, so now it gets closer and closer. Royal 2's got the snipe, and he's one of the best people in the world to have at the end of the games with the snipe. You could trust him. And here we go, back to the game plan, guys. Like I said, I'm going to keep saying it. You want to be top mid in the landing. Uh, now it basically comes off to a standoff. It's uh, one of those. They know if they, they're going to both be together because they know if one of us is by ourselves, they could get an easy cleanup. And the same thing for us. So um, the player that I am, like I just said before, is I like to really move and get into the action. So as you can see, I don't like to stay around top mid towards such a close game like this where it's only two kills needed. Uh, I'm basically the guy who tries to enforce the start and the push and as you can see I'm trying to spot out where they are uh, checked red 2 I didn't see him red 2 so now I'm just trying to get royal 2 to bait me just in case someone was red 2 and he comes and he can get maybe a snipe start crouching and I'm walking around still see no one red 2 like I said before I like to make nades on the spot I was deciding to try to I never threw nades off that top purple part so I wanted to see where they went and my arm just was weak that day and I couldn't toss him but here, now I'm just basically checking all possible spots. I'm, I think since I just was at red, they're not at red. So I think they might be hiding in those main ramp little sneaky. So I'm throwing plasmas there. I check on their gold bridge to make sure they're not bottom gold. And now I pick up snipe. Here, I just basically want to try to find out where they are. So I kind of watch the grenade launcher for a bit. Five minutes. I realize that at this point that they're most likely not going for it. And they're trying to really hide. So they're either ring two, which I check right here. Through purples if you never want to check through the main check through these little lights to see where that come towards blue again I'm trying to nade those little main ramp spots you really want to you know if you could get a lucky kill or not a lucky kill because I'm trying to predict that they're there uh, get a kill from that then that's good for you because then you know where they're kind of hiding again I come back to red most like the reason I'm checking red is because I haven't been around blue and I already checked red too basically and I've seen that they're not red too so now it's like, alright, let's finish checking red. Come to red one, I see that one's red one. And I start walking slow, so, because I don't want the other players to really hear me with their headphones. Now I see completely that red is clear. So now we know that they e they have to be a blue, since I already checked ring two. So now we have the upper advantage, because they really don't know where we are. They just hear a bunch of nades, they don't know where we're coming from. And here I go. See, I was throwing nades before. Uh, I knew that maybe they wouldn't be there, since I saw no one move around. And I took the, you know, the action of having the sniper off. So if they were there, just in case, I could snipe and uh, hit them in the body and then melee them. Or get a, get a good, nice, uh, quick scope on the head. So now we know they're blue. Here comes the push. Like I said, I hate playing slow. So I'm coming in there. I spot the guy, blue needler. I start throwing nades after I snipe him. And now I just hide. Now we know that the other guy is most likely around here. Now we just got to see what he's going to move. I spot out the guy who just, uh, we just killed spawned right there and then his teammate made a great play he was actually blue one and made it all the way to gold to uh, get behind royal two which was a great great play now here it's we're basically stuck now it's one kill to, you know whoever gets this next kill is the winner so everyone's you know shaking here my my nerves are going crazy I have the sniper so I'm like dude I got royal two on my team definitely one of the best snipers if not the best sniper in the game let me try this off this is kind of scary because we kind of bunch up right here, and if the guy was anywhere close to us with the grenade launcher, we could have been in trouble. So now my job is basically just to check his openings, make sure no one comes from blue one or main ramp like I just did there. And like I just told you, I'm a gutsy player, so I want to get out. I don't want to be 
too close to each other so they could get an easy kill on me. And right here, I notice he comes, so I just jump at this dude because I know he has a grenade launcher. So I want to make sure that that grenade launcher does not get me at all because that grenade launcher could blow up a lot quicker than that assassination. So I jump at him in order to stop the explosion and for him to basically with that shot he knows that I'm in the air and he has nothing to bounce the grenade launcher off the detonator that he's in trouble so right there like I said it was a bait and switch I don't like to stick too close to each other but a certain distance in order to be able to help each other so I go blue street and then I'm able to see that there was no one landing I turn around and they try to make the finishing blow instead of waiting it out like we were doing and we caught him off guard with that and we were to take the W uh, it was one of the most interesting games that I've ever had, and I enjoyed it much. Um, so, there's going to be more gameplay coming out soon, guys. Uh, I'm going to have some a status quo call-outs so you guys can know how status quo calls out everything. Uh, more gameplays. Look out for montages coming soon. And uh, be sure to like this video if you liked it, if you enjoyed it. Uh, also, if you haven't, start watching our Spree series. It's uh, Basically, just crazy things that we have done, killing sprees, combo sprees, rampages, sniper sprees, all that good stuff. So if you enjoy this video, like it. If you enjoy all the other videos, like it. If you enjoy the YouTube page, subscribe to it. And that's it for today. See you guys later. Peace out.